in this video we are going to discuss about complications associated with placenta previa so this is a second part of antepartum hemorrhage so here we should see the complications uh, which are associated with placenta previa the first complication is malpresentation the malpresentation in that also the most common is transverse lie greater than breech position now coming to the second one that is present placenta previa if there is already in present placenta previa then it is risk for placenta accreta and the investigation of choice for placenta accreta is usg the two transvaginal uh, scan with or I, without Doppler and the gold standard is MRI now coming to highest chance the highest chance is previous history of caesarean section with present placenta previa now coming to if placenta accreta is detected in antenatal period so as we uh, said if the placenta accreta if it is detected in antenatal period then the management is elective c-section plus hysterectomy and next you can go with classical uh, classical caesarean section because placenta is attached to myometrium now coming to management of placenta previa so how to manage placenta previa when a patient of antepartum hemorrhage comes and she is stable if she is stable this is the first condition if she is stable the first step is trans abdominal scan in trans abdominal scan you see that the placenta in lower uterine segment or in upper uterine segment with recto placental clot and if the patient of APH is unstable so if it is stable then we do that if it is unstable then we will do resuscitation plus c-section so this is the thing we need to see if any antepartum patient with placenta previa if their vitals are stable we'll do USG if their vitals are not stable we do resuscitation and c-section now let us see management of placenta previa especially in stable patient in stable patient if the TAS show the placenta previa then the investigation of choice is TVS so first we do TAS right in that TAS if you see either it is uh, lower uterine segment or uh, upper uterine segment with rectoplacental clot then next choice is you will go for TBS and in the two TBS you have two options that is either immediate termination of pregnancy or you may continue the pregnancy so always what we need to remember is uh, always we want to save the mother when compared with fetus so always do the procedure according to it so if you want to save the mother if there is unstable vitals then we need to terminate the pregnancy and this type of management is called active management and if we want to continue the pregnancy especially when uh, it is not causing any harm to mother then this is called as expected expectant management or also called as conservant management and aim is to take the pregnancy till 37 weeks here so that the lungs of the fetus will mature and the principle is never put mother's life at risk now coming to active management and conservative management so let us differentiate this bit and we'll understand it more so active versus conservative so active management mother's vital especially you do this 
when the mother's vitals are unstable and uh, conservative will do it when the mother is stable and it's coming to active management here there is continuous bleeding or you can say active bleeding and here is there is no active bleeding so no problem and here there is fetal distress also already already fetus is going to there then why to conserve it let us terminate it here there is no fetal distress so still you are waiting for this and here the gestational age is already greater than 37 weeks and the patient uh, or the patient is in labor but there is bleeding so in this case we need to terminate whereas here the gestational age is less than or equal to 36 weeks so that's why we need to wait till 37 weeks for the maturation of lungs and here on the USG ultrasonograph you will see the gross congenital anomalies which are incompatible with life so that we need to do active management that is termination of pregnancy here on the USG findings you will find the fetus is perfectly normal or sometimes it may have congenital anomalies but they are compatible with life so still we are able to conservate it and protect the fetus now coming to conservative management this conservative management you have uh, Mac Cafe and Johnson method Mac Cafe and Johnson method or regime so what does it say first one what is saying is in the conservative method first is to admit the patient okay next is to monitor of course both mother and fetus okay and after that we need to inject corticosteroid especially in all cases like dexamethasone so that it needs like about 48 hours to work actually why we give this for the maturation of lungs and next if she has contraction if contractions are present because now here we need to prevent the labor so even the contractions are coming we need to compress them by tocolytics tocolytic like nifedipine can be used because when we don't want to deliver now until the lungs mature and next in the case of rh negative female we need to give anti-d and that too you know that is 300 micrograms and next the blood types keep blood ready for transmission according to the blood type we need to keep blood ready for transmission because in this cases we don't know when again there will be bleeding and we always need to be ready to protect the mother so carry out conservative management until 37 weeks mode of delivery so now let us see how to deliver mode of delivery according to usg report or you can use pelvic examination here in ot so one thing you need to remember the pelvic uh, sorry pelvic examination yeah it is contraindicated in before cases uh, especially to find out whether it's placenta previa or abrupti or placenta but here especially when the patient is on ot in the usg report to find out it you need to do this because we know we want to know mode of delivery here and already as the blood is ready so even though if there is more bleeding you can transfuse the blood to the patient okay so here you'll find out by any other one and you will see whether it's low-lying placenta or placenta previa so if it is low-lying placenta always do vaginal delivery if it is placenta previa do c-section that is cesarean section and normally you will do lower segment cesarean section okay in the class of uh, placenta accreta placenta on anterior surface or in the case of placenta on anterior surface of a lower uterine segment in this two cases you will do classical c-section okay in what what cases in placenta accreta and uh, placenta on which anterior surface of lower uterine segment is present now coming to management of abruptio placenta so how to manage the abruptio placenta So here in the case of this management the major complication first you need to see the complication the major complication is DIC so more than the time interval between onset of abrage and delivery there are more chances of DIC so we should never wait and watch in this case we should never wait and watch in this case and also never give 
to colitics in this case okay and management is nothing but termination of pregnancy coming to the preferred mode preferred mode is vaginal delivery now coming to the special condition so the special condition is a patient of abdominoplasm to have abnormal coagulation profile so abnormal coagulation profile and dic is present here so first thing is correct the dic by ffp followed by vaginal delivery so indication for c section is mother's vital unstable fetal distress vaginal delivery so vaginal delivery is not about to happen and gestational age is far from term like it is less than 32 weeks and is coming to obstetrical cause of dic that is abruptio placenta next iud of fetus and next you have septic abortion and amniotic amniotic fluid embolism and next you have severe preeclampsia or eclampsia or help syndrome okay next coming to management you have give ffp no role of eca or tranexamic acid next coming to bleeding in third trimester so bleeding in third trimester we need to divide it into three things like first one is placenta previa so in placenta previa you have causeless bleeding bright red and painless and recurrent and warning warning sign may be present 